The doctors tell me something strange is happening to me, but I forget what. The moments keep folding into each other. Am I seeing echoes of memories? Or are they whispers of something lying ahead? I can't trust myself anymore. My clock has been broken, but for how long? I can't tell. Maybe I have somewhere to be. Tomorrow then? I'll see you in the afternoon. I can feel something watching me from behind these moments. I don't know what it is, but I fear that death follows it. But I remember this place. Well, well, this was lovely. Yes, it was nice. Perhaps you could bring Gillian next time you come. Perhaps. Uh... Yes, that would be nice, Michael. Your mother worries about you. Or to settle down at your age before it's too late. I think I remember this. I, I remember you saying that, Father. And I saw how much it really hurt you, because I knew that you thought it was already too late. Death scared you so profoundly, and I just hated that I couldn't take that fear away. How did Gillian die in the end? Cancer, isn't it? Shame. I'm still scared. Death feels closer now than ever. All I can see is that forest all those years ago. I can't even be sure anymore if it's Peter who drowned and not me. Make peace with the past. But how? I'm lost. I can't help you anymore. You know I never could. Farewell, my boy. Farewell. Don't leave me anymore. I'm so lost. Again? Andrew? Six times. Six. It's ridiculous. We can't keep doing this. I'm up in four hours, and every time it's the same, breaking the same news. It reminds me of when my mum was diagnosed. Oh, she was such a chore in the end. It sounds cruel, I know. But six times. It's ridiculous. 
And I've got the interview of a meal at five. Oh, Christ, I'm going to look awful. Seriously, would you hire this? You think you have all the time in the world. Then, late one day, you find yourself looking back into a terrible chasm. And you realize there isn't any at all. You ever think we're doing the devil's work? Mending clocks? Of course. Time destroys everything, so I've heard. <laughs> I wish I could make it go the other way, though, sometimes. So do I, son. But if I did that, I'd be out of work. Better that than out of time. How long have you been dead, Uncle Ian? You know, I can't quite remember. What's waiting for me there? What do you think's waiting for you? Nothing. I think there's nothing waiting for me. And it's terrifying. I think this is all I'll ever be and I've wasted it. I remember a time. At the house that summer. You were playing in the garden, dressed as Peter Pan. Remember? Second star on the right. Maybe it's not so bad where people go away. Eh? Maybe not. Is it time? this time I thought you were the angel of death <laughs> 